Jada McBurrow is the baddest motherfucker. Like you, you don't know. You know why? Because Jaden ass don't talk. I've known Jaden since he was nine, you, ten, you, and I've heard him say maybe three words. Um, he ain't gonna jump in the camera. He ain't gonna. You don't see him in all that. You know what I'm saying? That's not him. He's just flying under the radar and do his thing, but he's one of the best cornerbacks in the, in the nation. I mean, period. On your PPO team, because some of these PPO teams are epic, man. We was ever get the rosters of these PPO teams. Uh, this is crazy, some of the kids that was on the same team. Who was on your team at PPO? Name some of the kids that played. Any of them still play with you? Um, let me see. Um, Rohan Brown, he played with me still. Um, Antonio uh -huh. Johnson, but um, we had a great Vincent Davis. I played with Vincent Davis, Nate Variado, um, Micah. I can't. I, it was a lot of them. Big baby. Vincent played with you? Yeah, Vincent, me yeah, and Vince PPO? played up. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's crazy. Vincent, big baby, big baby. Big baby was like younger than you, huh? Yeah, he was younger than us. Yeah. I, I played with T2, Terrence. I played with all everybody. Playing with T2, you did you ever think that he was gonna be the great the number one linebacker in the nation? Did, did you see that? I mean, you you never know like when right. somebody like, you know, rankings come, so I don't like he like he worked hard in practice. Like he come down hitting everybody. So I knew he was gonna be good. I knew he was gonna be good. Yeah. I knew he was gonna be good. Yeah. Gonna be good. Do you believe in the, the, the rankings and where they rank you at? Does it make sense to you? I know you've seen things that made sense and some that didn't make sense. Huh? Oh no, nah, I don't really like, I don't really get into the rankings. You know, nah. I just I just I just do what I do every day. You know, every game, I just play my ball. I don't really do it to the rankings. Play with Vincent Davis since he was this big. Yeah. Did you get the hitting games? One. Thing? <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I tackled him you one time. One he was about to score, actually. I tackled him. I, I was like the 30-yard line, I think. But, yeah. Says yeah. something to him? Nah, well, like, after the end, like, when the game was about to end, I said, like, oh, good game. He was like, love you, man. You know, yeah. Talking. What the score end up with? Um, yeah, I cannot. Yeah, they kind of fought back, right? Y'all was beating them bad, and then they kind of came back a little bit, right? Yeah, I think it was like, yeah, I, I don't know. 24-17, I think. Yeah? I think that was just one. James, James Williams, you, you played with James Williams at American Heritage, right? Yeah, I played with him. Yeah, James, is James Williams as good as the hype people say he is? Yeah, James, James good. James, yeah. James good. He do anything anybody asks him to do. Right. Yeah, James, James gonna be a good, good player. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, so that game, that game against back to Vincent Davis. Vincent Davis is playing quarterback. I don't think he ever played quarterback. I don't recall him ever playing quarterback. He played quarterback for y'all. You football? Yeah, sometimes you play quarterback. Quarterback, yeah. quarterback yeah. to throw the ball, um, to run it. No, to run the ball. To run the ball, right? He's playing. He, he throws sometimes. Too. He throws yeah. Sometimes too. yeah. He playing quarterback for American Heritage, and um, I had to talk to him, and I was just telling him, man, it might be a blessing you get to touch the ball every play at quarterback. Like you said, with running back, man, you miss touching the ball. Yeah. You get to touch the ball every play. He's still looking for that right off. You know what I'm saying? So it might be a blessing. I interviewed him just like this, um, and he kind of understood what I was saying. Um, Explain Vincent Davis and and he's small, but how you know what I'm saying how hard it is for like tackling this man in the phone booth. Like he he he's very uh and even that wide receiver, like he get in front of you like very elusive kid, right? Yeah man, I played with Vince my whole life, man. Vince like Vince like a little like another brother to me, like my mom took care of him. Yeah. Yeah, like so Vince. Man, Vince got a big heart, man. He probably was smartest on the field, but Vince got a big heart. Huge heart. You know, Vince. Anybody that Vince step in front of, he think he can beat him. Any, if he's an NFL player, he'll probably beat him. So yeah, yeah Vince, Vince always been good. Any any college he'll get, he gonna ball out there. He gonna ball out. That's how I felt. Same thing I felt about Tutu Atwood, and, yeah. and he did exactly he did exactly that. Yeah. As a cornerback, if, if wide receiver in front of you, he's small. Is that a problem or is it? Cause you know if he out here and he's small, he's fucking flash. He's, he's super fast. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Quick or something. Yeah. Is that a problem for you? No, that's not a problem. That's no. not a problem. Yeah. What about tall receivers? You six 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 five dude. Um, that's that's probably even better because you don't you don't never see no six six dude like running like no four three. So they'll so probably won't be, be that fast. They'll probably be slower. But yeah. Yeah. They'll probably be slower, so it'll be better. Who who's the best wide receiver you you, you had to guard? Um, like 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 okay, so on paper, y'all was preparing for him. Y'all was like, dang, bro, we gotta go play again. And there you made man, Jaden is yours. I'll probably say, oh, you know, probably Brandon or Brandon Ennis or. Um, Damn, yeah. That was the other night, wasn't it? Yeah. Y'all play man? Yeah, we played. Yeah, we played man. And you had to guard Brandon? Yeah. How he did? Yeah, he did good. He was, 
Whooping my ass first quarter, first first yeah. quarter. What's then, whooping my ass? Like he had a couple catches. <laughs> yeah, he had a couple of catches. He but, did. Yeah, but I don't think he got caught none in the second half. I don't think he caught none. He scored. He, he yeah. He's he scored in the second half. Yeah, he scored. He scored. Yeah. And Brandon Ennis may be the best Avery that I ever saw, man. He may go down, man, as, as one of the greatest football players ever to play down in South Florida. He punt. He, he, he do everything. You know what I'm yeah. So you was locked up with a one-on-one? -on -one. Yeah. Any, 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 what's any fear there? No, nah, I was no fear. Nah, no nah. fear. Nah, no fear. What is it you got to do? You got to try to figure out what he's trying to do? Or what is it you trying to make him do? Don't catch no passes. On me. <laughs> so you it. just so so basically so basically you 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 trying to you just reacting off what he do. Or do you ever try to force them a certain way or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, as a DB, yeah, you know you, you can't like just let them run. Like you, they got a bunch of field around. You can't just let them run. So you just gotta get in their face, put hands on them. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I put up a post, man, and I was asking you, uh, who can guard you, Keith Brown, right? Yeah. Tag somebody that guard UK Brown, man. You jumped in there like with LOL, like laughing, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, man, I guard this boy, man. Um, so if we set that up, man, you come out guard, you you come out, got him one on one. Yeah, probably after the season. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, yeah I was, we was gonna set it up to where we set him up with not just a few people, man. It's, if somebody guard him, we was gonna give him hundred dollars. That's how we was gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's hard to guard somebody like that. One -on -one. It's hard to guard somebody like like uh, in this one on one. You know what I'm saying? It is. Cause he knows where he's going. They already, both of y'all are excellent athletes. But he knows where he's going. That's why a lot of times usually there's help. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's, but South Florida, that is something you do. You will go out there and you will get in front of Brandon and it's not think twice about it. You will go out there and you will you keep, and not think twice about it and compete. And I think that's kind of what make the iron shop and iron type thing, you know what I'm saying, work. Um, you got Antonio Brown this summer. Yeah, that's great, yeah. And talk to me, man. How that? Um, one of my teammates there, that, that's his like uncle, so we got so me and him cool, so and he um me, Antonio Brown wanted some work, so I was out there getting him some work. How was it? Man, it was a great experience to be honest, guarding like one of the best receivers in the NFL. Is it a difference between point. him and Brandon Ennis? Oh yeah. What's the <laughs> what's you know, the he, difference? What's the difference? You know he I don't know, man. He taught you something today? Did you learn something? Yeah, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. His quickness, like, is it something you never saw? Or? Yeah, man. Like, other people, I can, I know what they about to run when they, like, after, like, five yards. But then him, like, he'll probably look like he running a slam, but he'll run, like, quick as dig. I mean, or out route. So, you, um, when you was growing up, going to college, man, did you ever th want to stay home, say, I want to stay with my mom, or you was saying, man, I'm getting out of here soon, my man gonna keep telling me to clean my room. Like, what was what was your thought process growing up when you thought about going to college? Um, to be honest, I don't even know. It was just, sometimes, sometimes, like, because I love my mom, so, like, right. at one point, sometimes, I want to leave, get out of here, go right. to another state, but sometimes, I just want to stay stay here with her, so she'll be close to me. What did she say? Man, she she love to travel, so she don't care what I do. She anything is best for me. Yeah. Yeah. She don't care. So 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 she was she really letting you just choose however you wherever you go. Yeah, she was talking to me now and then, like telling me like just trust the process and like make relationships with the coaches and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So you choose Michigan. Like, what went into that? Um, they made the best relationship with me. Um, and like. I feel like with my talent and my like attributes, I can go in there and, and make a difference. Yeah. So, who recruited you from this year? Um, Don Brown, Coach Don Brown, and um, yeah, Coach Z. Yeah. Z. Yeah. And how long have they been recruiting? Um, since 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 my um junior year. Yeah. Junior Only year. hard. Yeah. Junior year. So um. Is Coach Bush still there? He ain't anymore. He no, he's not. He, he, he left? Not. No, he's not. So, so, who else recruited you real hard? Like, who else went after you hard? Um, you know, it was like a couple of schools like Ohio State, Miami, um, Pitt. It was a couple more schools. Miami, like, went, Miami went after you hard? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they still, yeah, they talking to me. They still, they still after you? Yeah. They, they own you? So, you, you, you. But man, we was, we was trying to set this up last week, and I saw you on your Facebook. We was with JJ McCarthy. I was like, oh man, he ain't here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you was in Michigan, right? Yeah, I was in Michigan. with the quarterback. Yeah. When that was? Um, that was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. What game you went up there for? I went up there for the Wisconsin game. Wisconsin. They won? Nah, they ain't win. Nah. It was it was close. 
Nah, it wasn't. Nah, no. was close. Yeah, no, they, they brought you up there for that. <laughs> nah, but we uh, we had a great experience though. We yeah. met all the recruits, and we we had a great experience. JJ McCarthy. Oh, man. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen, oh, I've seen. Wow. Man. Listen, man, this man, this this man could throw that thing. But when he tucked the ball and run, man, I was impressed. Yep. I've seen him play, I think, twice this year. He, 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 he's going to be a good one. Yeah, he's going to be great. Who, cool. anybody else? Anybody else going to Michigan from down here, you know? Um, one of my um, players that played with me at St. Thomas, Jaden Hood. Oh, Jaden Hood going to Michigan. Yeah, he'll, uh, he'll be, he's going to be a great linebacker. Yeah, 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 I know, I know Jaden Hood. Yeah. yeah. So, when did you commit? In, like, March, I think. March. Um... Is that the visit or something? No, it was just, uh, we couldn't really visit, so. Yeah? So, so you got like, caught up in that? Yeah. So tell me this, man. Help some of the kids out, man, because there's a lot of kids coming behind you, right? What were you looking for? Was it the defense you was looking at? Was it, man, I just trust this guy? Like, what was you looking for in the college? Um, I was just looking for, like, a, um, like, you know, a family, like, you know, some coaches that just make the best relationships with me. And somewhere that I'm needed, not wanted, somewhere where I'm needed. You did any virtual visits? Yeah, I did virtual visits. With who? Um, I did one somewhere in Miami. Um, hit. Yeah. Michigan. They be down here hard, man. Yeah. They be it's getting a couple <laughs> schools I can't think really yeah. think of. Right now. Who recruited you from Miami? Um, Rump. You know, Rump. Oh, my Rump. Rump, right, 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 right. You know my Rump? Yeah, we got a, we got a cool. Were you there with him? At American Heritage? Oh no, he left. He left. Yeah, he left that yeah, when I got there. Oh, okay. Thank God. That would have been another one they've been killing Mike Rump about, man. Yeah. <laughs> another one killed Mike Rump about. So, Mike Rump on you all here? They on you hard now? Yeah, they, they, they talk to me a little bit. They talk to me a little bit. Yeah? yeah. So, I, I mean, um, you trying to go to school early? Can you go early? No, we, no I can't go to school early. Private school can't do the early thing, you know. You wanted to go early? I mean, if I could, I would, but. um. It don't matter to me. I'll stay down here with my mom as long as possible. And Who you want to be with your mama, man? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Bring her over there, bring her in the dorm room with you, man. Hey, <laughs> I mean, listen. <laughs> what? Nah, I want her to travel, so it'll be cool. She don't care about it being cold or nothing like that? Nah, she, it's only it's only for a couple of hours, so. She went up there with you? Yeah, she went up there. She felt that hawk when she got off the plane? Yeah, it wasn't. It was cold, but it wasn't as cold as she thought it would be. But it, it was colder. It gets way colder in Michigan. Anybody you know went to Michigan? Um, yeah, um, Anthony Solomon, Nick Eubanks. Uh-huh. Um, talk to him? Yeah, I talked I talk to him. They said they liked it? Yeah, they yeah they like it. They like it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Rick Ross posted you the other night, right? <laughs> Rick Ross, we posted you on the story. I mean, I, somebody sent it to me 1 o'clock in the morning, man. Yeah. <laughs> What's that about? You cool with Rick Ross? You, you rap too? <laughs> no, nah, I, nah, I don't rap. Um, we got a cool relationship. I'm cool with his son. We got a cool relationship, so it's, yeah, yeah, it's cool there. You always had dreads. Yeah. Where did that come from? Nah, I just, I don't know. I just. I tried to grow dreads, bro, and I could not make it past the oppression niggas thing. When you couldn't get a tape, you gotta just let it all go out. I tried, man, and if it would, it would work for me, man. Your, 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 your mom always dreaded your hair up like that. She always had you. Yeah, she always yeah, it was my mom. She always dreaded my hair up. Yeah, cause even when you was a little kid, you had. So would yeah. you cut them a little bit? Cause they should be here by now. Yeah, I had to, I had cut them and regrown. Yeah, yeah, them regrow. Yeah, yeah. I, I, cause, cause even as a little kid, you had your dreads coming out of your helmet, so I figured they should be down your, down your back by now. Who, who your favorite artist? My favorite um, rap artist. Yeah. Um, probably say a little baby, a young boy. Yeah. That's the first, right? Yeah. He's the first dude who ever not said Rod Wade. No Rod Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say the same dude, little baby. Or who? Or um, young boy. NBA young boy? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. NBA young boy might be here too much longer, man. He, that man be wild, man. He, <laughs> don't pray for young NBA young boy, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he be wild. We pulled up on you, man. That's JD McBurrow, man. He ain't going to talk. He ain't going to catch him dancing in the camera, doing all this. None of that. Just straight balling. You know what I'm saying? I'll take the man out and say something. All right.